um, indigo blue. Um, in terms of gender, um, I'd say I lean more towards the trans masculine side of things. Um, I definitely, I really hate being called she or female or, um, anything that kind of identifies with that part. Um, but at the same time, I'm not really comfortable, like, with fully being identified as he. Um, even though I don't really like being called a girl or a female or a woman, um, I love the fact that I love the fact that I have a vagina and I love that I have breasts. Um, even they don't, even though they don't really feel like it's fully me or like I am who I want to be physically, um, I still love those things. So it's kind of it's on the spectrum of things and more towards um, trans masculine. Um, sexuality wise, that. <laughs> I'd say more like lesbian with a queer twist. Um, I I love women. I love everything about women. Um, I would do anything for a woman in a pair of heels. <laughs> um, but I also realize at the same time that people like that me personally that I have sexual urges if, if I'm really horny and I want something in my pussy and there happens to be a guy attached to the end of that I will totally acknowledge it and do what the fuck needs to be done <laughs> um to satisfy that but mostly like I said it's just like lesbian with a twist of queer so um I don't really have too much experience with porn um but I did a shoot for Crash Pad with Cinnamon. Um, that's this is pretty much like the second thing I've done with porn. Um, I would like to do more, but also like I'm really I'm really shy when it comes to like cameras and everything. So like it's kind of just like I'm really shy with a lot of things. So it's kind of just like a process of like becoming comfortable in front of the camera and like. And then after that, like, because we are primary partners, like, seeing what she's okay with and seeing what I'm okay with. And, um, so right now, like, my experience, it's, like, pretty low. But hopefully, like, there will be more in the future. But this is shoot number two for me. <laughs> okay, the real, I feel like I'm supposed to have, like, some fabulous, amazing answer. But, um, the real answer is, like, when I was 12 years old and still living in North Carolina, I saw this, like, this 2020 shoot with Barbara Walters and, uh, Bella Donna, and I was, and they talked about, like, this, um, she had, like, a X hundred guy, like, gangbang, and I was, like, in my 12-year-old brain, I was, like, oh my god, that is fucking awesome, I need to have a 200 guy, like, the gangbang or something, um, honestly that would probably never happen and like if I have the opportunity to I'd probably be like hell fucking no but um <laughs> in my brain like I was like I'm gonna do porn one day this is it so <laughs> it's all Barbara Walters fault <laughs> it's fucking awesome <laughs> um I feel like I don't know I'm kind of torn because like at home I feel like we have like all this awesome sex and I like we both make sure the neighbors hear what's going on just because like we always hate our fucking neighbors and we're just like yeah, you fucking asshole like listen to this shit but um <laughs> but like and then like I get on camera and I'm just like oh my god no like I can't, can't do that it's really scary um but it's nice like she understands like she's like she totally validates my fears and like it's just like I hear that but like it's just a camera and it's okay um so it's really nice I feel like if it were anyone else I'd probably like my like shyness and freaked out level would go like through the fucking roof and I'd probably like just be like I, I can't do anything like I'm just gonna lay here and you do everything <laughs> so so it's like for me it's a comfort thing like it's still nerve-wracking but like I'm coming out and it's still definitely like it's really helpful to have her there cool um what are some of your turn-ons Hmm. I feel like I have all these like trashy turns. Um, you can be trashy. <laughs> I really like the smell of cigarettes on someone's breath. Um, but like fresh cigarettes, not like stale nasty shit. It's kind of gross. Um, 
the smell of cigarettes I love for my back to be scratched but not like not like I'm fucking you scratch like you're fucking the shit out of me and you're like giving me this pain because you realize I like it um I really like to be fucked in the ass like anything dealing with anal sex I'm just like oh my god I just <laughs> it's like if I were like in elementary if I were like a 12 year old boy like in middle school I like wouldn't be able to get out of my seat <laughs> at the thought of it um I lost my thought. <laughs> um, recently, we are discovering that I have a shoe fetish, <laughs> which, like, I feel like I should have known all along because, like, I'm always like, you should get those bare nails, like, right now. You need those shoes. You need them, and I have to lick them. Um, <laughs> but I'm just finding out, so whatever. Um, but shoes, definitely shoes. We just bought them in a ton of shoes, and I'm really excited about that. Um, also just like general, like getting in trouble. Like if I like, if there's anything going on, and I should not be having sex in that moment, I would definitely be trying to like. The fact that someone might be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" It's like, it is so exciting to me. I got in trouble too much as a kid, so it kind of turned into a sexual thing. <laughs> <laughs> like just the fact that I might get in trouble and someone might hit me because of it is really exciting. <laughs> when I was in middle school, I used to like masturbate with stuffed animals. <laughs> like, um, once I put like you know those like little beanie babies. Oh my god! I like I had this little beanie baby giraffe, and I was like really horny one night, so I, like stuffed into my pussy and then sucked it when I was done. But, so just like, for me, it's kind of like turning something really innocent into like something like really like fucked up and that shit should not be happening. <laughs>